What's up everyone? A very chaotic veto ceremony has hit the house and a Big Brother record has been set. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Right before we get started, if you are new around here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I do live feed updates here every single day so that you can be a Big Brother expert in just 10 minutes. So hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button. That one really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, pushes my videos out to brand new people. And uh, like I said, to the algorithm, we can give a good old... You, um, thank you everyone for your kindness. Um, and also I do put a lot of effort into these videos So if you feel like buying me a coffee cause it takes a lot of coffee to get through a big brother season Please consider hitting up the PayPal link in the description or leaving a super thanks in the comment section Let's get to the update Okay, gang, yesterday we talked about all the things that could happen at the veto ceremony and, of course, it was a very chaotic and exciting and big update, you know Exciting for some, depends who you're rooting for but um, I'm going to confirm what happened at the veto ceremony. MJ did decide to use the power of veto on Angela. So Angela is safe for another week. Cue all the Angela haters. <laughs> hey, I'm, I ain't stopping you, right? We can like who we like. Simple as. I can understand why you don't like Angela. Um, I can understand why. I, I, yeah, it's, it, it's fair. We've all got our favourites. Simple as that. I can understand how people find her obnoxious. Myself, I'm a fan of chaos when it comes to Big Brother and... To me, Angela brings it, so I like that, but anyways. Angela is safe for another week, and Chelsea had to name the replacement nominee. She named Quinn as the replacement nominee, putting him up on the block, leading for Maximum Chaos. The veto has been used every single time this season. Wow. Not only that... A Big Brother record was set by none other than Angela. Get this, folks. Whether you like her or not, you got to give her credit here. Angela becomes the first person in Big Brother history, that's in almost three decades of the game, to have the veto used on her by three other people. If you can believe that, it's true. I fact-checked it, everything. Before, I believe, I mean, there's a few in there, but she was joined up there with people who've had the veto used on them by two other people, and she joins the ranks of Diane from Big Brother 5, Xavier, the winner of 23, Dan Giesling from 14. Uh, I think there was a couple more in that. I think Cliff from 21 was in there. Christy from 21 might have also been in there as well. But anyways, all that don't matter now. I think Sheila might have been in there as well. But... That doesn't matter anymore because now Angela has had it used on her by three other people. She officially holds the record now as the person who has had the veto used on her by three other people. Anybody else before that was two. Angela had three in one season. And the season isn't even over yet. So whether you like her or not, I as a super fan love a brand new record being set almost three decades into the game. So for me right now, it warms my heart that records are still being set. And that deserves a round of applause. Now, immediately after the ceremony, MJ went to Kimo just to reassure him that he is not the target. I think personally, when you get a moment like this where something looks predictable, but then someone gets put up in a wild kind of event, nine times out of ten, that kind of confirms that the person who was on the block in the first place is somewhat cannon fodder or more so than they were before. You know, it, it, it's less likely that they're going to go if people aren't even going to bother touching them. It becomes more of a case of evicting the person who's been put up second rather than the person who was up there originally. Plus, I don't really think there's a case to be made for sending Chemo out. I mean, he's not really a threat to anyone. Um, he doesn't pose immediate panic when people go oh my god if chemo gets to the end what are we going to do like chemo's one of the ones now that i think people are looking at thinking i mean i like chemo i think he's lovely but again there isn't really a case to be made for his game um or at least there is but it's a little one it's a it's a small one so whereas quinn uh, even though he's been disastrous in the game he has been a figurehead of this season um having lied about remember when he lied about his upgrade at the start and then that got him into hot water then he's won two HOA just since sent his own allies home I think people more so find him irritating on a personal level which is why he's being targeted so when you balance out chemo and Quinn people definitely want to send Quinn out over chemo so when we actually go into 
the actual eviction this week because guess what? No AI arena this week to, sh- to switch things up. It's going to be Chemo or Quinn. As of right now, as I am making this update, Quinn will be evicted. If the vote was taken right now, Quinn would go 100%. But of course, there are a few days to go until Thursday. Things can change up. We know that's the theme of Big Brother 26. It's expect the unexpected. It's chaos. It's anything can happen. But one thing's for sure this week, we aren't looking at three people. It's definitely going to be Chemo or Quinn and... The writing's on the wall there. Looking like Quinn, but again, every single time this season we've said it's looking like this person, it ends up being the other. But right now, it's going to be Quinn, but guess what? Could be Chemo. Now, while Chelsea is the head of household and she did put up Quinn as the replacement nominee, does she actually want Quinn to go? It's not so much a case of that, but she did take one time to look at the cameras to say she would not she would not be upset if uh, if Quinn stayed. So I don't really think Chelsea is that bothered. I, I, I personally think she is okay with whatever happens. I think it's one of those HOH reigns where it's just like, eh, as long as someone goes, it's fine. You know, she's definitely taken out... Either way, what happens? Somebody who she's not that bothered. But again, she said she wouldn't be upset if he stayed. I guess we'll see what happens there. I mean, me personally, if I've put somebody on the block, I would want them to leave. You know, obviously, you can't send both of your nom- nominees out, but or you can in the following weeks if you win HOH again. But I, I don't know. I mean, I think that's a risky attitude to have. Saying you know you wouldn't be too upset about it because. If Quinn had any sense now, when he wins head of household, he'd straight up just put Chelsea up for eviction, right? Chelsea's also a prime player this season. She is the strongest player in my eyes. She is playing the best. Um, But, I mean, I really hope that doesn't come back to bite Chelsea. If Quinn stays and then puts up Chelsea, I don't know. I think... Chelsea's got got a because she's got the she's got sway as head of household. She can kind of go, hey, I wouldn't, I, I kind of want things to go in this direction. That's usually the role of head of household after the veto ceremony. It's kind of just, it's them. They've still got that influence, even even though the power's kind of gone after the veto ceremony, or mostly gone, in the event of a tie, of course. You know the rules, but on various weeks, but Chelsea is still the figurehead of this week because she is head of household. So right now she could use her sway to kind of influence where the vote goes but she has to be so careful with it because like i said if she doesn't send the right person out and then that person wins hoh that could really come to bite her and a moment that she'll regret for the rest of her life when she's sitting in the jury house so um it's very very vital at this point now that we're officially at the jury stage to send the right people out at the right time or that could cost you the game If you are a Big Brother fan like I am, then you will want to make sure that you subscribe to Paramount Plus. You can catch moments like Big Brother records being set by Angela. uh, Angela, after the veto ceremony, finding out she'd been uh, vetoed again for a third time by somebody else. Crazy stuff. And also you can catch the house guests talking strategy or talking about each other. And things can get a little spicy sometimes. So make sure that you subscribe to Paramount Plus by using the link in the description below. A moment I think we should definitely take a look at is the fact that... Y'all remember when Matt got evicted in week one? Um, (laughs) The credits closed out of that episode. And MJ and Leo went to the bathroom and they were looking at the camera going... We've got to get Angela out. She's going. Angela is going. The whispering in the bathroom. We'll avenge you, Matt. Angela will go next. Flash forward two months. Leah, have you decided to use the power of veto? I have decided to use the power of veto on Angela. Flash forward another week. MJ, have you decided to use the power of veto? I have decided to use the power of veto on Angela. Say what you will about Angela, but come on, that's... She she is kind of the main character of this season. I mean, with Tucker gone earlier than I think a lot of people would have liked, Angela, whether you like her or not, is the main character of this season. I mean, I was talking to my partner about this, and while there are people playing great games like T-Car and Chelsea, I feel like when people look back at this season, when people think of 26, Tucker and Angela will be the people that come to mind. I just think about, you know, how in previous seasons how when we're invested in it and everything's closed and i think people often hone in on certain people saying this person's the best players who ever played the game or whatever and then like three seasons later nobody really even talks about them it's definitely in the heat of the moment people get like that and the people we remember are the figureheads like tucker and angela like 
25, right? I don't really think of Jag, even though he won the game. I think of Suri and Felicia. They brought the most. And I also think of America and Corey because they're showmans. I think of Cameron as well. He won uh, America's Favourite Player. And then 24, I mean, I do think of Taylor on that one. Um, I think of Michael as well. And uh, unfortunately, for the wrong reasons, I think of Nicole and Daniel. But, you know... They, they've gone down in Big Brother infamy rather than fame. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's it's interesting. And I do think Angela and Tucker will be the ones who are remembered as the main characters of this season. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. I'm going to give a shout out to all the wonderful people who bought me a coffee yesterday. Um, Y'all really came through yesterday for the song and it, and it really warmed my heart. And I'm excited to, uh, to go through all these comments. So thank you, everybody, so much for this. Right. Tinker Mom LA, that was some nice work on the intro song. Thank you so much, my darling. I appreciate your kindness and your super thanks. Um, Eileen Basic Chicken 814, thanks. Awesome song. Well, that's an awesome comment. Thank you so much, my love. Have the best day ever. Um, Kristen V3591, the legend herself. Love the song. Great update. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to me, Kristen. And I know you're always out here supporting, so thank you so much. Also, I was out here supporting is Dress Up Club with so much kindness. Dress Up Club, love the song. Hashtag Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, it does. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dress Up Club. I appreciate you. Um, Soldier Girl, <clears throat> again, very generous and, and, and kindness all the time from Soldier Girl. And thank you so much my love um have the best day and i hope you enjoyed all the chaos that's that's going on in the house at the moment thank you so much soldier girl carol Ann 453 also a member of the channel i appreciate you ever so much my darling thanks stella song as usual thank you so much my love have the best day and i know you're always supporting and it means the world to me thank you um next up we've got super christian me world who says how many effing people are going to use that effing veto on effing angela <laughs> Um, the Angela haters said screaming at their screens over this new update. Meanwhile, I'm dancing like Mario, Mario's lanky brother Luigi with the moves. This season keeps lighting my loins on fire. Oh man, that was a funny one. Thank you so, so much, Super Christian Me World. I appreciate you always supporting and great comment. That gave me a laugh. Um, Kaida RMA, uh, thank you so much, Kaida. I appreciate you. Thank you for your kindness. Have the best day ever. Thank you. Um, then we've got... April McCoy 6956. OMG, you made my day with this song and update. You earned this coffee. Amused. Hubby and I love watching you daily. Thanks for the hard work. It doesn't go unnoticed. Love from the McCoy tribe. Well, I'm sending love to the McCoy tribe. Thanking you. Thanking your husband um, for the support. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm and I'm glad you enjoyed the song. Just to bring a little bit of joy into people's days is uh, is something I aim to do with these videos. So so thank you ever so much for, for that. Um, Joyce Sigma legend. Thank you so, so much joy sigma says thanks your song brought a smile to my face love you tom keep up the good work i love you too thank you so much that's really really sweet and a very generous super thanks i appreciate you ever so much thank you tara hess y'all really came through today tara hess thanks tom love a veto song um i appreciate that so so much and uh, i'm sending sending love right back at you i believe you're from canada because it says ca there um next to the super thanks so thank you so much my love i appreciate you and uh have a wonderful day in canada i presume um <laughs> thank you um then we've got aj from queens nyc thank you for allowing me to pause and dance in the kitchen while i am making dinner slay that is so cool i love that the fact that you actually stopped to dance while making dinner that is a vibe i also love dancing when i'm making food i like putting music on and just grooving on out in the kitchen great fun i love that thank you so much um david cushmore thank you so much of course uh, a legend how many times is angela going to be saved by the veto um are they going to use the veto on angela all the time so she can get to final two but lose big brother who knows she could win it who re i mean unlikely but who knows um is angela going to be the final jury member again very possible tomorrow night is well tonight now is the debate harris versus trump on abc 8 p.m eastern time yes it is and yep i'll be at a watch party for that so i'm excited to see how things go also apprehensive um but yeah i i I don't like getting too political on this channel, but um, for me, this is just me, and I, I don't want to be attacked for having an opinion. I'm just saying this straight up for, to anybody who's out there watching right now, but to me, I see one party as hope and one party as hate, and I'm not going to be a part of the hate. Um, thank you so, so much, David Cushmore. 
Katie Wellahan, I love the song. Angela might survive. Um, yeah, she might survive. She might survive. Um, I remember when I did the the Gloria Gaynor song earlier in the season. I did, she might survive. And then I did, obviously, Jump in the Line, Harry Belafonte yesterday. You know, um, what, what was... I can't even remember the chorus. See, I write these songs, like, so quickly, and I churn out the next one, so they, they kind of got her. Uh, use, use, use the veto. Um... Angela might survive. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so, so much, Katie Wellahan. I appreciate you ever so much. Then we've got Lisa 06810. Thank you so much, my love. Um, love the song. Don't want Angela to win, but glad she's sticking around. Can get rid of Cam and I'll be happy. Yes, Cam seems to be a great guy, but I agree. No gameplay. Yeah, we agree there. Can't wait to see how all this goes. Sad for Quinn, but what great gameplay. Oh, and I am in the middle of season two of Only Murders in the Building. Loving it and getting there. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it, Lisa. I hope you enjoy the rest of it because it's a wild ride. And season four, this current one, has been great so far. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, SDE Gene 11 I look forward to your daily updates and entertainment. Your songs are great. Thank you. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. Thank you so, so much. Um, Becky Culp, who is now a member of the channel. That's awesome. Becky says, love it when you sing. Thanks. I officially joined your channel today. They have M&Ms that are pumpkin pie flavor. Can someone send me some? They sound delicious. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to trying them. My faves are the crispy M&Ms that have a cookie piece inside. Oh, have a fantastic day, Tom. I hope you have a fantastic day too. Thank you so much, Becky, for becoming a member of the channel and your super thanks. Then we've got Kelly R2679, great song, also love from Canada. Again, they're sending love right back to Canada. I appreciate you, Kelly. Thank you so, so much for being a light on TV Talks with Tom. I appreciate you. Twisty Secret, I'm starting to well up. So, Y'all came through so much yesterday. Twisty Secret, another fantastic song, Tom. My mom can't stand Angela, haha, ha, but I like how she brings the chaos. Best season in years. You're our favourite, and thank you for always delivering the best updates. Well, that is my pleasure, and uh, I, I agree with you. I, I, I agree with you, Twisty Secret. I, I also agree that this has been the best season in years, and how Angela brings the chaos. We're in birds of a feather. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Kathleen Grundhauser, also a member of the channel. Lovely Kathleen. Kathleen says, thanks so much. I love the song today. My favourite so far. I danced and sang with you. I'm excited to see if Angela can pull through this week. She's done it. Um, Chelsea issued her a challenge and compared her to Taylor. Her DR cracked me up when she started eating the potato chips. This year has been so entertaining and I am loving your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Kathleen. Have the best day ever. I appreciate you, my darling. Have a wonderful evening. Um, Carol Mosher, um, 1500, thank you so much, my love. That is very, very kind. And then we've got Finding Laurie, 6645, who is also a lovely light bright light on the channel at what point will the house guests decide that evicting angela isn't a waste of their hoh um i don't know if they're gonna learn it i really don't but we'll see Susie J 32 um this is literally just for your song and dance bravo thank you so much my love i appreciate you i am my heart is warmed right now with all those super thanks and i've got three paypal ones to shout out as well for all those wonderful people over there i don't want to miss a single person tia Hain dudley uh, says i was dancing to your use the veto song we'll send this money for some coffee it was great thank you ever so much my love you've got me covered and it means the world to me thank you so much um also on paypal we've got Melissa Agabar, um, sit on the sit on the block and get taken off. Thank you so much for quoting the lyrics. I appreciate you and I appreciate the PayPal donation. That really means the world to me. Thank you, Melissa. And then last but definitely not least is Jennifer Barnhart. Um, awesome intro today, Tom. My mum and I danced throughout the whole song. We're wishing you so, so much love from New Orleans. Keep on keeping on. I certainly will and I appreciate the love from New Orleans. I'd love to come to New Orleans one day. The food and the culture looks absolutely incredible incredible there and i would love 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 to go down there one time um so yeah but thank you so so much to all those wonderful people who bought me a coffee um i, I was gonna say i apologize for the end segment but because it's been so long but i don't apologize for it at all i think i'm so so happy and, and grateful to be able to show gratitude for all those wonderful folks who brought me kindness yesterday from that song and um yeah, I, I will never, y'all will never go unnoticed. So thank you so, so much for me. I, from, from the heart, I really mean it. Thank you to all those wonderful people um, who bought me a coffee yesterday. Thank you ever so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.